everybody doing? It's your friend Jex from Cinebro Supreme and I have for you a little, well, little large DVD update. Um, these are probably from the past month and a half, two months. It's been a while since I did a full DVD update. Got quite a few, there you go, a little sneak peek. So uh, let's get into these. Got quite a few good ones for your viewing pleasure. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Um, these first three were bought at a yard sale. Uh, my buddy Alex and I, you know, Alex, also from Cinebro Supreme, uh, we went yard sailing. He was in town, this was probably about two weeks ago, and we did the yard sales, and uh, I got these three for five bucks. Two DVDs and one Blu-ray, five bucks. And they're all in great shape. So the first one is MacGruber. Um, I hadn't seen it yet. I had heard mixed reviews, but I surprisingly I had heard good things. So I'm like, I'll check it out for that cheap. It's fairly new. And uh, I had quite a few laughs. I checked it out. It's it's pretty funny. Uh, I checked out the unrated version, and it's pretty... It's a lot more raw than I was expecting. It's uh, it's a great time. Uh, you know, uh, Val Kilmer plays the villain. I mean, how can you go wrong? He did a great job in it. So if you want a couple, uh, if you want a couple of laughs, can't okay, talk, uh, check out MacGruber. I recommend it. You know, maybe not the best out there, but... Good for a laugh. Uh, I also picked up Little Nicky. This one was still sealed in the original wrapping. It was brand new when I got it for that cheap. So I thought, why not? I had only I had only seen bits and pieces of this uh, over the years on TV. Never really saw it all the way through. So I checked it out the other night. It, it, it's a great Adam Sandler movie. Uh, I liked it. Um, so yeah. I'm sure all of you know about this one. So uh, don't have to say much more. Little Nicky. And the Blu-ray I picked up at that yard sale was, uh, year one. Uh, ew, that was a pretty good comedy. I mean, I saw it in theaters back when it came out, and, uh, you know, it's really, I, I, I was happy to pick it up on Blu-ray, because it's got nice visuals, you know, nature and whatnot, so it looked good on Blu-ray, so, uh, yeah, I thought, why not? I haven't watched it, uh, since I got it, so it's been a while since I've seen it, but, uh, looking forward to seeing it again. Year one Blu-ray! And... The other, here's another Blu-ray I picked up. I only got two Blu-rays in this update. Um, this one, okay, these next few uh, purchases were done at the local Blockbuster. It's closing down, so they're having this big sale, huge sale, everything must go. Um, all the retail titles are 30% off. Uh, all the uh, movies that were for rent, you can buy them for $6.99 each. So, uh, this Blu-ray I got was retail, uh, I've been wanting this Blu-ray since I got a Blu-ray player, so I had to pick it up. The Lost Boys! Uh, I have it, I, as you can see, I haven't opened it yet, but I have it on VHS, and I've been wanting to get the Blu-ray, like I said, ever since I got a Blu-ray player, but never really found it for a good price. So this one here was $16.99, take off 30% off of that, it was only like 11 bucks. so I had to pick it up. I love this movie, and it's gonna look great on Blu-ray, can't wait to watch it. But yeah, Lost Boys! Now the next... Um, blockbuster purchases, uh, these were all former rentals, so $6.99 a piece. First one I was really happy to get. I didn't think, because our blockbuster didn't have that great of a rental selection, not a lot of rare stuff, but this one I was happy to get. I was like, oh, I'll buy this one. It's my Bloody Valentine, the original, 1981. Uh, and this is the, uh, special edition, features an unrated cut. Um, it says here, watch the deleted footage separately or as part of the film. So you have the choice. So I think you can watch the theatrical or the um, the full uncut version. So it's pretty cool. I haven't seen this this movie yet, My Bloody Valentine, but it comes up a lot in updates, uh, and I've been wanting to see it for a while. So I'm really happy to have found uh, this uh, edition. So yeah, looking forward to that. My Bloody Valentine. This next one couldn't pass it up. Child's Play 2. Uh, I have the VHS down there on my shelf. Um, yeah. I picked this up because it's pretty hard to find separately, like, uh, on DVD. You can usually find that set that features 2, 3, uh, Bride of Chucky, and Seed of Chucky, but uh, on their own like this, it's pretty hard to find, so I picked it up. Uh, Child's Play 2, yeah. I have Child's Play 1, uh, the Blu-ray DVD combo, so I thought I'd start getting them on DVD. I actually saw the third one like two weeks ago, 
at Zeller's uh, over in Camelton, which is about an hour away. It was four ninety nine, and I didn't pick it up. Child's Play 3. Well, I was going to, but I saw that the, the insert had, a, like, a tear in it. I was like, oh, I'll wait. Kind of wish I would have got it anyway now, but whatever. Got Child's Play 2. Uh, this next one was cool. Uh, really happy to find it. Uh, someone must have hidden it because it wasn't in the right place, but I found it. And it's Spider-Man The Venom Saga. Um, which is funny because, as you're going to see my VHS update that I'm going to do, probably in the next video, uh, I got this on VHS also lately, The Venom Saga, but it's a different... Uh, release and it's it's got a different running time. This one's 95 minutes, and the VHS is like 80 minutes. So uh, I think this one just features like an extra episode or something, because the Venom Saga is just a compilation of episodes. So yeah, but uh, no, I was really happy to get this. Uh, I'm trying to trying to grow my superhero collection, so you know that was cool. Uh, and the next one, still in the same vein, Spider-Man: Mutant Agenda. Uh, this one I got in the five dollar bin at Walmart um, so, about a month ago, I guess. And uh, this is really cool uh, DVD. It features uh, the episode where um, Spider-Man is starting to mutate, so he goes to you know he's turning into a mutant, so he goes to see uh, Professor Xavier, and then you know and the X-Men make an appearance in this one. It's, it's a really awesome episode because the '90s Spider-Man. I love the series, and it's never been released on DVD as a full uh, full seasons. They released like select episodes, like Venom Saga and this one, but never a full seasons. So I'm trying to get my hands on the most that I can. And uh, yeah, this is a really great episode. And a special bonus: two episodes of the Iron Man, uh, the '94 series, I believe. I haven't watched those yet, but it's cool to have. Um, moving on, you'll see there's a theme going in the next few uh, DVDs. I got the Incredible Hulk. This is the 1982 series that uh, features the episode, uh, When Monsters Meet. Now, this is another one that's never been released as a full season, the 82 Hulk. So, it's pretty cool. I have I have uh, an episode on VHS, it's called, uh, The Cyclops Project. So, I was happy to get this. And, as you can see, it says special bonus to episodes of Spider-Man. So, I got really excited. I'm like, cool! Because it's got the 90s Spider-Man font. But, it's a rip-off because it's not the 90s Spider-Man at all. It's a 60s one. You know, I pop it in hoping for... You know, for this. But what do I get? Spider-Man. Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. I'm like, what is this shit? What a ripoff. I mean, it's, it's a cool show. But, I mean, you know, let, let, let's, let's be honest. And the 60s Spider-Man had crappy animation and everything. But it's still fun to watch. But, yeah, I felt really ripped off. Because that's clearly the 90s Spider-Man font. Well, what you gonna do? This next one, uh, kind of... Same story, Fantastic Four. So I thought, oh, cool. Yeah, I'll get that. Uh, I thought it was going to be the 90s Fantastic Four episode, but it's an episode called The Impossible Man, and it's from the 70s Fantastic Four. So I thought, okay, but my advice, stay away from the 70s Fantastic Four. It's it's a totally different story. The Human Torch isn't even in it. They, they, they replaced him with, like, a robot, because I guess back in the day, um, you know, they were scared that... Um, Kids were gonna set themselves on fire and jump, jump off tall buildings. So they thought, oh, we better not have the uh, the, the human torch. So yeah, they replaced them with a robot. So uh, yeah, that's really it's, it's hard to watch. It's really not a good series of the Fantastic Four. Uh, and oh, the trivia about the human torch and stuff. That was my boy Evil Eddie that taught me that. I told him I got this, and he's like, wait, is it from the 70s? I'm like, I researched the Impossible Man. I'm like, yeah, it is. He's like, have you ever seen that? I'm like, no. He's like, okay, it's not that great, I'll let you know right now. I'm like, really? Then he told me all the stuff about the Human Torch. I was like, that's great. And I watched it, yeah. He was right, not that great. But, uh, still good to have. It has two bonus episodes of Spider-Man as well. 60s, but still good episodes. Uh, next one was a great purchase. Uh, the complete first season, X-Men. The 90s one. I used to watch this as a kid, and I hadn't seen it in years, and it's a really great show. Uh, I watch it, and it's like, it's a cartoon that's for everyone. You can tell it's not just for kids. I feel like I'm watching an action movie. It's really, it's really, really well done. Um, really glad to have found it. Ten bucks at Walmart, part of the um, Father's Day specials. Um, so yeah, usually this goes for like twenty-six ninety-nine at Blockbuster. So I'm gonna try to get the other seasons if they're still there. They're probably all sold out by now. But, uh, yeah. Old School X-Men, gotta love it. Um, so this next movie was cool. I've been wanting to see it for years. Uh, found it at a pawn shop for, I think, three bucks. It's The Hidden. Uh, 
I've been hearing lots of uh, mixed reviews about this uh, here on YouTube. Some people liked it, some people didn't like it, and uh, but I've been wanting, I've been wanting to see it, you know, create my own opinion. And uh, I watched it, and I gotta say, I really enjoy this movie. Um, it's it's so cool. It's got uh, Michael Nuri, which I didn't really know who he was, and Kyle MacLachlan from uh, Blue Velvet, um, Showgirls, uh, a bunch of stuff, um, Twin Peaks. So yeah, it's uh, basically it's just this alien that you know switches from body to body. It's uh, on Earth. It goes from human body to human body, just killing. And uh, it love those aliens. They love listening to heavy metal music and driving around in Ferraris. And uh, you have this cop that's you know that's after these individuals, you know, because he doesn't know they're possessed by aliens. And then uh, Kyle MacLachlan from the FBI, you know, he helps them and he knows something's up, but he won't say. And it's, it's a really great sci-fi, you know, I didn't know what to expect. Like I said, mixed reviews, but I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, can't wait to watch it again. And also, i got to say, this actor here, Michael Nori, like I said, I didn't really know who he was, but he's the spitting image of um, Chris Sarandon. You know, Chris Sarandon from Fright Night, uh, Child's Play, you know, he did a lot of stuff. They look identical. A lot of the time, I'm like, is... I was looking at the case, it doesn't say Chris Sarandon. Is that Chris Sarandon? I couldn't tell, but no, it's... Michael Nuri is his name. If I'm pronouncing that right. Yeah, spitting image of uh, Chris Sarandon. If I'm crazy, let me know. But I find they look identical. Um, oh, next one was cool to find. Uh, again, I was with Alex. We were going from store to store, and I found DC Cab, which I have been wanting a copy of this VHS or DVD. I've just been wanting this movie for a long time. And I finally found it. Uh, we were at this local uh, video store, and they were selling some of their rentals like old movies, and they were all four ninety nine. and I with this one out, it was twelve ninety nine. so I'm like, what? Why is it so expensive? So I asked the manager that was there, and, you know, she checked, she, she didn't really know why either, it was twelve ninety nine. but eventually she let me have it for four ninety nine. so that was really nice of her, and, uh, yeah, really happy you found it. I watched a part of it, uh, again, like it happens a lot of the time, I was at work, and I didn't get to fully enjoy it, kept getting interrupted, but, uh, I like what I saw. I can't wait to watch the whole thing. But yeah, DC Cab with good old Mr. T. I ah, pity the fool. Treat your mama right. <laughs> uh, and I picked up Nutty Professor 2, The Clumps. I hadn't ever seen this sequel. I loved the first movie, so I thought, you know, you don't see this one as much, so it was, I think, three bucks as well. So I picked it up. And uh, again, this one I, I didn't finish, but I watched most of it. It was pretty good. Not as good as the first one, though, but... Uh, Janet Jackson's in it, and a lot of people are like, oh, the second one's got Janet Jackson in it, you know, but honestly, I liked your performance. I thought it was good, but it's just the whole storyline is ridiculous, and it really doesn't have the, the same feel as the first one, the same feel, or, uh, I don't know, just the charm that the first one did. It's uh, a little more, uh, I don't know, uh, a little more uh, naughty, I don't know, but uh, yeah, still good. Still good to have in the collection. And this last one I got, finally came in, I ordered it probably earlier on in the year, back in January or February, I ordered it from Blockbuster. And now that they're, they're closing, I'm glad I, I got it before they closed. Uh, best Worst Movie, the Troll 2 documentary. Uh, if you haven't seen this, it's really great, puts a whole new perspective on the movie, <laughs> you know, and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a great movie. It was directed by the, I forget his name, uh... Michael Paul Stevenson. He was the little boy in Troll 2, so he made this documentary following all the actors and what they're up to now, what their impression of the movie was, and it's really, really great. Gives you great information about the movie and the making of, and no, I'm really great. Like, like you can see, it's still sealed, but um, I've seen it before. I I saw it. Uh, my boy Travis brought over a burnt copy once, that's where I saw it, but uh, I wanted a, a, a copy of it. And, uh, yeah. Definitely check this out. Best Worst Movie. So that would be it for the DVD update by your boy Jex Russell, Cinebro Supreme. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I got a, some VHS to show off uh, in the next video. And But before I end this one, I just want to thank everyone. We've recently surpassed the 200 subscriber mark. I just checked uh, before doing this video and we're at 201. So, uh, wow, that's great. Thank you so much. Um... I'm really glad that you guys enjoy what uh, Alex and I are doing on this channel, and, uh, you know, it's really, it's a great feeling, so thank you so much, very appreciated, and, um, 
we'll keep entertaining you as best as we can. So, uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. VHS update coming your way. Peace out!